In this video, we're going to look at standardized rates. So what we need to remember is crude rates do not take into account the age of a population. So for example, if we had a town with a large elderly population, the crude death rate is likely to be high. So what we can do instead is we can make use of something called a standard population. And what we can do, there's a formula for that that we're going to use. So for a standard population, we're going to use this formula, which is the number in the age group times by a thousand divided by the total population. And then from there, we can calculate something called the standardized rate, which is going to be the crude rate divided by 1000 multiplied by the standard population. And just remember from before, the crude death rate, for example, would be the number of deaths times by a thousand divided by the total population. Now you do need to learn these formulas for your GCSE statistics exam. Okay, so let's go through this example. So we've got a table of values here, the number of different age groups, the number of individuals in that group, and the number of deaths per group. And what we want to do is we want to work out the standard population for each of the groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the formula that the standard population is the number in the age group times by a thousand divided by the total population. So what we're going to do first of all is work out what the total population is going to be. So we're going to say the total population, we can get our calculator for this, add them all up. So it's going to be 3315 plus 16461 plus 21431 plus 6767. And that would give me a grand total of 47975. So that's 47975. Let's double check that's correct. Yes, it is correct. So that's going to be my total population. So now I can apply the formula. So it's going to be the number in the age group. So in our case, from zero to 20, if your age is zero to 20, we've got three, three, one, five, divided by the grand total, which is four, seven, nine, seven, five. And we're going to times that by a thousand. And then type in my calculator, and then I'm going to get three, three, one, five, divided by four, seven, nine, seven, five. We can multiply that by a thousand. And that will give me 69.10, two decimal places. So I get 69.10, two, two decimal places there. And then we're going to do the same for this one. So it's going to be 16462 divided by the grand total 47975 times by a thousand, and I'm going to do the same thing for this one, two, one, two, one, four, three, one, over four, seven, nine, seven, five, multiplied by a thousand, and then six, seven, six, seven, divided by four, seven, nine, seven, five, times by a thousand. And then we can use our calculator now to work out what these corresponding values are. So we can just change the top value what we need. So in our case here, let's delete that. I'm going to change that to 16462 divided by the grand total times by a thousand. And that's going to give me 343.14 to two decimal places. This is 343.14 to two decimal places there. And then I'm going to change this one on the top. That's going to give me 21431 divided by the grand total times by a thousand. And that's going to give me 446.71. So 446.71, like so. And then we can do the last one. So just scroll this back, delete the top. 
change that to 6767 and then we can say that's 141.05 to two decimal places so 141.05 scroll down a bit 0 0.05 okay so that's what we call a standard population now if we've been asked to work out the crude death rate, sometimes they could ask for the crude birth rate. It will just be in terms of the number of births. But in this case, we're looking at the crude death rate. So we're going to do the following. The number of deaths in our case, which is going to be 40, divided by the total population. So we've got the total population. So that's going to be 47975 and times this by 1000. And I can do the same for all the other ones. So that's going to, then for the second one, we're going to do 850 over 47975 times by 1000. Then we're going to do 2102 over 47975 times that by 1000. And then we're going to do 2397 over 4. 7975 and multiply that by a thousand so we can get our calculator and work out what these values are and we're going to round them to two decimal places so it's going to be 40 over the grand total 47975 times by a thousand and that's going to give me 0 0.8 three for the first one. Just change the top number again. So that's going to give me uh, 850, which is going to be 17.7. And then change the top one again. That's going to be 2102 divided by the grand total, and that's going to be 43.81. And then change the top one number again. And that's going to be 2397. And that's going to be 49.96, 49.96 there. So now we we're going to work out the standardized death rate. So it will be the crude rate divided by a thousand. Just a reminder of the formula again. So it's going to be the crude rate divided by a thousand times by the standard population. So we've got our crude rates. So we're going to do 0 0.83 divided by a thousand times by what we got for the standard population. So in our case it'd be 69.10. Then we could do the same for the other ones. That's going to be 17.7 over a thousand times by the standard population, which is going to be 343.14. Then we can do the same for this one, 43.81 divided by a thousand times by the standard population of 446.71. And then we can do 49.96 over a thousand times by the standard population, which we've got is 141.05. So once we've got that, we can just use our calculator to work out these values. So I'm going to put it over here, my calculator. So it's going to be the first one, 0 0.83 over 1000 times by 69.10. And that's going to give me, I'm going to round this again two decimal places. It's going to give me 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 there. In case is going to be 17.7 
divided by a thousand times 343.14 and that's going to give me 6.07 so that's going to give me 6.07 to two decimal places then the third one is going to be 43.81 over a thousand times 446.71 and that would give me 19.57. And then the last case is going to be 49.96 over a thousand times 141.05. And that will give me 7.05. And I am 